Well, good morning, everyone. So this morning, uh, Cassie Cassandra from seventh grade and June has prepared our morning psalm, number 464, Shelter Me, O God, number 464. Shelter me, O oh God, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my God. As a mother gathers her young Well, we gather in prayer then in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather, we turn once again to the goodness of the Lord, that we may entrust our lives, our cares, that we may come under the shelter of his wings for protection. And so we ask God for the daily bread we need. We ask the Lord to bless our world. And for our sins, we ask him to pardon our personal sins and the sins of our world. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teaching of your truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road. 
that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Kandache, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with the chari that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him, who will tell of his posterity, for his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you about whom is this prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scriptures, scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to, himself, to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, said Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, <coughs> and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayers or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, 
so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, have you heard of the term Sodoto? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's spelled S-O-D-O-T-O. Sodoto. See one, do one, and teach one. So uh, medical students, especially as they prepare for a surgery, so what they do, the principle is they see how it's done, then they themselves do it, and then they teach others how it's done. So it, it completes the cycle of learning, seeing it, doing it, and then teaching it. So Philip, who in our first reading, he was one of the original disciples of Jesus. And so he had seen what Jesus had done. He had learned what Jesus had taught. And so then he applies it in his own life. So he, he does it. And then he teaches others. So what we heard in today's first reading actually parallels Jesus on the road to Emmaus with the two disciples. If you remember that story, Jesus opened the scriptures and explained it to them. And so in the same way, Philip uh, is explaining the scripture to this unit, that this, uh, this Ethiopian, so that he may come to understand and come to faith. And so what Philip does, so Philip represents then the church. And then the Ethiopian represents any person of goodwill who desires to learn, who desires, who's hungry, who's hungry for God. And so what the church then, what Philip did, is then to feed that hunger. Jesus, who calls himself the bread of life, to feed that spiritual hunger. And so uh, as we, throughout our lives, as we have heard the stories of Jesus, and then as we have lived that and applied it in, all, in our own lives, so how can we teach that to others? You know, uh, you have family, and certainly when you teach it to your children or your grandchildren or your nephews and nieces, you know, you, you, you complete that cycle. And I heard also somebody was saying that, you know, we should be ready. St. Paul says we should be ready to give an account of our faith. If someone was to ask you, you know, why do you believe what you believe? You know, how would you respond? What's this about the Christian faith or the Catholic faith that's different? You know, so how are we uh, prepared to share our faith with others? I heard when I was uh, with the evangelicals, they would always say, you know, you, you prepare something really short, something that you can do for a brief uh, blurb that you can give to people. Uh, so it could be like, you know, a 15 second, a 30 second, something that could last for an elevator ride. And then sometimes, you know, if somebody over coffee may be asking you something more, and then you have the time to share something a little bit more detailed. So it would be interesting for us to kind of reflect, you know, how has the Lord affected my life? Why did I choose to become Catholic and remain Catholic in spite of all the different things that we've seen in our world, in spite of the negative news that we hear about our faith, our church? But why do we remain? How have we encountered the Lord? How has the Lord helped us? And so as we uh, imitate Philip, as we see what the Lord has taught his disciples through scripture, as we apply it in our own lives, and admit as we share that with others, we complete that cycle of learning. So Doto, see one, do one, teach one. Let us continue then bring our petitions to the Lord. And so we lift up our church, ourselves and all Christians, that we may be
good signpost that help points others to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who seek their way in life, may they find believers like Philip, who will guide them to find Christ to be their heart's deepest longing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, that they too might be open to learn like this Ethiopian court official and be guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need of God's healing grace, we remember Bill Lang Langbin, Jane Cunningham, and the thousands of coronavirus patients like Roberto Reyna, a 27-year-old. So for all in need of all God's healing grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the safety of all, especially our medical workers and those who do essential services for us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need, whether it is for life's basic necessities or financially or emotionally, that they may receive the grace that they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And this Mass is being offered for the <coughs> repose of the soul of Edmundo Simon. And in charity, remember uh, those who died recently, William Vacalar, Bessie Choi, Fei Yi, and the COVID-19 uh, patients who have died. For all of them and those who grieve their passing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I invite you to take a moment to offer your own personal intentions before the Lord. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you who have given us every good gift, including your Son, hear then our prayers as we entrust them into your loving hands. In your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed. And integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, 
every land, every people, exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them light to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring forth to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also Edmundo Simon and our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God as our Father, and so with confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I invite you to join me in the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Our communion antiphon, Christ died for all, that those who live may no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously, be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And we thank Cassie and June once again for our music.
Thank you. 